Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to verify the background color of an element in Selenium automation. Let me answer. We need to write some logic. Case, okay. First of all, we need to use one uh, command in Selenium web driver that is uh, get CSS value and pass this uh, background hyphen color to that so that you will get the color of the particular element on the page in RGB format, okay? Not in the required format. We need the color to come in X format, okay? So color formats are different, okay? RGB format colors are there, hex format, okay? Once you get the color in the hex format, hex format will something will look something like this, okay? Hash three, 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 three kind of stuff, okay? So, but RGB will be like RGB open, so, uh, circular bracket, some numbers and closer circular bracket, but that we cannot compare. So we need to convert that into as X format and then compare it to verify the background color of an element. Okay. So let me practically demonstrate this for you so that uh, it will be more clear for you. Okay. All this logic and code for that. I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample project okay. in the sample project. We have some sample Selenium automation code, which is already written for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser and opening the application URL in the browser. Once this application URL is open in the browser, like this. Once the application URL is open in the browser like this. So you see the background color is in uh, some kind of, it's not black, it's neither hash, somewhere. We don't know, okay? So as per the requirements, okay, given by the client, uh, the background color should be of that particular element should be like this, okay? I'll show you what color that is. In the hex format, the background color should be something like this, okay? The client has given the requirement where the expected background color should be hash 333333. This is a hex format, okay? Hex, and uh, you can see somewhere here, this is a circle, this is a somewhere area, okay? And uh, what kind of color that is and all, okay? If you want to explore more, it's a hex color. So some kind of, uh, you know, dark charcoal, okay? Dark charcoal kind of color, okay? This particular element has a dark charcoal kind of color. It's neither black nor, uh, you know, ash kind of things. So we know expected uh, X format color is this one, but how to get this actual thing from the application element uh, using Selenium automation and all. For that, we have to write some code. First, we know spring expected color in which format x format okay hash three 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 okay let's confirm that hash six times you have tried three okay this is the expected color so now let's try to retrieve the actual color from the web application page this element so for that i'll right click inspect this element for which i would like to retrieve the background color so this element is getting located, this HTML code is getting located. I need to create an XPath expression using the ID of the parent element. So slash do at the rate ID is equal to under this, we have that uh, UL slash UL to locate that element. Once the element is located, copy this and come back here and say driver dot find element by dot uh, XPath, give the XPath expression of that uh, thing and say dot get CSS value to get the background color of any element. This element for which we need to get the background color. So to get the background color of the element, we have to write get CSS value here. We have to provide one CSS attribute value that is background hyphen color. Okay, like this we have to provide. So this get CSS value will return the color in string format spring, but this is RGB color. Okay, you'll get uh, R RGB format color. Okay. This this is the actual one, actual color of the element, but it is not in the expected hex format. It is in the RGB format of the system. .print element. Let's print this RGB color. How does it look like and all? The retrieved actual color of the page. Driver dot pitch. Close the browser once this task is done. Run this. You will get in RGB circular bracket, some numbers kind of color. You will get in the output. You see, you got the output, actual color we got in RGBA format. Okay, it's not RGB, it's RGBA. 
it's rgba format color we got okay this format we have to convert into hex format how to convert that okay for that we have to write this logic that is color dot okay from string first we need to convert this uh, rgba color to color selenium color okay so for that what we do is uh, color dot okay what is that color dot for uh, from spring okay from spring from the spring convert into the color put a semicolon here and pass this rgba color and uh, the return type is uh, let's say color for the return type of this form from spring is color again for the mouse and say create local variable you'll get this color here this color is coming from selenium library make sure you are importing this from selenium library if, if it if it gets imported from any other library ignore that and try to import it from selenium okay support dot selenium dot support dot color okay like that now it's very easy for converting this uh, color to the hex format for that we have to write color dot has x that's it okay color dot has x sorry color dot has x it will return you the color in the uh, x format in string okay spring uh, x color okay this rgba format color this x uh, okay this actual color only actual color in rgba format here also x is actual color actual color of the element on the application page but it is in x format got converted into the hex format okay now let's print it out and see how does it look like okay okay now run this how the x color actual color x color will be printed after converting from the rgba type of format color color to the x color we will see in the output console you see the way we want okay hash this is expected one right that's actual also is coming as expected now let's compare that how to compare this uh, uh thing it's very easy to compare this expected color this is the actual color simple words okay so i'll simply change it to actual color okay now we know what is the actual color and all so now i'll simply use a uh, text engine assertions like assert dot assert equals and here the actual uh, expected color is this one which is in x format and actual color in x format is this one i think first we need to write the actual okay i think actual should be first and this is expected expected color should be next put a semicolon if both are equal then the test will pass if they are not equal the test will fail that's it run it let's see whether the test will pass or fail if it is passing means we are able to verify okay the background color of an element on the web page that will be the final code let's see whether the test got passed or failed the test got passed okay the test got passed because the colors were matching okay so hope guys you got the answer for this question okay that is how to verify the background color of an element so it looks simple but we have to write some logic and conversions and all those stuff this is the simplest way i feel okay there are other type of logics available to convert okay in if you go with uh, some programming logic uh, converting from rgba to x is you can write some you know a lengthy code also for that but uh, this makes very simple okay uh, this is very uh, just by two lines you can convert uh, the rgba color format to the x format uh, but uh, there's other way also but this is a simplest and easiest way okay to do so so that's all for this session thank you bye bye